few days ago, I've seen a message by the STEM center of my college saying that they have 3D printed a robot that can draw on a whiteboard. Being a physics teacher, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if this robot would be drawing a physics problem on the whiteboard? Actually, its own physics problem solving for the tensions in the strings. So I wrote them a message about this idea, and a few days later, I was recording this video. Of course, this is fast forward. The robot actually took about 20 minutes to draw the whole thing. Uh, but it seems, at first sight, very good. He drew the free body diagram with uh, the tensions that were not labeled at the beginning yet, and gravity, the coordinate system. Uh, then he did his first law of uh, motion, the also of force must be zero in x and y direction. And to finalize everything, he put everything into a nice matrix that would be allowing us to solve this. Now the question is, what did the robot actually draw and is it correct? Let's have a look. First the robot drew the free body diagram. In a free body diagram, we isolate the object for its environment and we replace all the interactions with the environment with forces. In this case, there's two uh, interactions with the motors through the strings at which the robot is attached, and then there's the force of gravity. So he correctly replaced the right string by a force towards the right side, the left string by a force towards the left side, and gravity going down. Then the robot wrote down the equations for the translation equilibrium. Assuming that the robot is just suspended and not moving, it assumed that the sum of all forces in x and y direction must add up to zero. If he was to draw himself actually while moving, there would have to be some acceleration there. So the sum of all forces equals ma instead of equals zero. And he split up the tensions on the right and left side in the x and y components. So for the right one, we have cosine, the side that is touching uh, the x coordinate, and sine for the y coordinate. For the left, and tension we have again cosine on the x-axis but this way in negative direction and on the y-axis we have sine uh, of uh, the magnitude of the tension. Gravity is only showing up in y direction and as it points down in downwards direction. Next the robot actually added a matrix setup of this equation uh, which will be very useful if you use some linear algebra tools to solve this, but also if you have actual numbers for the angles and you just want to type it in to a calculator. You never heard of how a calculator can solve this for you? I guess that's a topic of another week.